Welcome to Drone Drop. The purpose of this project was to drop an item with a drone in mid-air while aiming for a target. We designed and 3D printed a trap so when the latch moved, the door would open and the object would fall. We also positioned the drone's FPV camera so it was directly under the drone to film the object dropping. The trap door would open after the drone spun two to three times in the air. Using the accelerometer's data, we're able to find out just how many times the user has spun. Using integration from calculus to figure out exactly how many times it's spun against a certain amount of time, the AT Mega chip can calculate how many times the user has spun, and then after the user has spun X amount of time in Y amount of time, it opens up the trapdoor by sending a signal to a BJT transistor. And uh, so the whole system works together in a way that the accelerometer is the data gatherer and the trapdoor is the output. The electronics were really heavy, so the drone had trouble carrying an object to a high height. It was also difficult to spin the drone to drop an object without losing altitude, so later on in the project we dropped the item with a certain amount of time instead of spinning a few times. The trapdoor's pressure just from gravity was too much for the motor to overcome. There wasn't enough voltage running through the Arduino to the motor to actually cause it to open up. So instead we hooked up a BJT transistor that's hooked up um, to the Arduino, so when the Arduino sends a signal out, the power comes straight from the battery as opposed to through the Arduino. Our biggest success was learning how to use an AppMega chip without an Arduino to simplify and shrink the electronics. Moving forward, we would like to create a lighter trapdoor design that doesn't require electronics and where the latch will move by wiggling the drone in the air.